Over a series of hearings in the coming weeks, you will hear testimony, live and on video, from more than half a dozen former White House staff in the Trump administration. I'm Lorraine Ali, television critic for the Los Angeles Times, and I'll be talking about the January 6th committee public hearing that'll be airing over the next few weeks. Some of the takeaways from what we've seen already, bringing this investigation public and really prime time um, after it's been done behind closed doors for close to a year. Um, some of the stronger points of bringing it public, there were questions about why bring this public and why broadcast this. And I think we saw why uh, the first night, uh, which aired prime time across almost every news outlet aside from Fox News. The select committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol will be in order. January 6th was the culmination of an attempted coup. Committee Chair Benny Thompson and Vice Chair Liz Cheney put together an incredibly compelling argument that was augmented with a really strong production. And when I say production, this is one of the big takeaways from why bringing this public is so important. They brought in the former president of ABC News to helm the production. What we saw and what we will be seeing is a culmination of their investigation, but also a production that's bringing in uh, never before seen footage, uh, that's bringing in um, depositions, clips of depositions that they've been doing you know, for over the past year. Um, and all this compelling evidence put together in a very cohesive and frankly compelling way. So it draws in viewers rather than repelling them. And frankly, let's face it, we're all really burned out, right? I mean, we've been through so much um, in the news and we've been through so much just around January 6th, whether it's misinformation or whether it is the, the hard cold you know, facts of the case, which are really depressing. But this puts it together in a narrative that um, is really compelling and rolls out like a drama. We're going to remind you of the reality of what happened that day. But our work must do much more than just look backwards. The cause of our democracy remains in danger. The conspiracy to thwart the will of the people is not over. There are those in this audience who thirst for power, but have no love or respect for what makes America great devotion to the Constitution. The second thing that's really uh, important about this is that these hearings publicly will be rolling out over the next few weeks. So with the first hearing, the promise, particularly from Liz Cheney is, this is what you will be hearing. And they were teasing, you will be hearing about how Trump um, you know, um, was trying to replace the attorney general to swing the election in his favor. You will be hearing about you know, how he was backing protesters to hang Mike Pence, things like that. Really compelling, dropping those teasers, almost telling you, you're gonna be hearing more about this. And what that does is it keeps people coming back and involved in this, um, hearing, which is a lot more than drama. This is about our democracy. This is about the health of our democracy. This is about the future of our democracy. When a president fails to take the steps necessary to preserve our union, or worse, causes a constitutional crisis, we're at a moment of maximum danger for our republic. I had three discussions with the president that I can recall. One was on November 23rd. One was on December 1st and one was on December 14th. And I've been through sort of the give and take of those discussions. And in that context, I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bullshit. And the third thing is the usual political theater of Washington was not present 
during this public hearing. This public hearing is very different, say from the Benghazi hearings or from the you know Kavanaugh hearings. And we could tell that, and it made a big difference because you didn't see politicians grandstanding. You didn't see them trying to get their 10 minutes or screaming at the witnesses or talking over witnesses. The two witnesses told their stories uninterrupted. This was a clean, clean delivery of facts, testimony, depositions, without the usual political theater of politicians trying to further their careers in that moment. I can just remember my, my breath catching in my throat because I, what I saw was just a, a war scene. It, it was something like I had seen out of the movies.